<laughs> I win. I win again! God, this game is so dumb. Oh my god, this game is so dumb. That's my Sharona. five relics for some reason. Hmm. That doesn't seem like an unreasonable thing to think to me, but I'm trying to work out why. Not sure why it doesn't seem like an unreasonable thing to think to me. is five cards. Yeah, that might be why. Imagine listening to the song and then not aiming a child, Sharona. Couldn't be me. My Sharona. Ooh. I don't know about that. with the good shit, please. That's a genetic algorithm. I 
early genetic algorithm is so good. Wow. 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 Looks like at the moment I'm interested in playing boss swaps, Catalium Perrin. Don't know why though. This deck's not on any struggle buses, this deck's fucking murdering everything. Oh shit, it's this one. Saws are done. I have failed to use fairy in a bottle. The boot! The boot! <laughs> Unlucky. trying to use my fairy in a bottle right now? I don't think so. I accidentally kicked on key instead of the boot there. Yep. Accidental. Well, let's see another fight. Wait, it actually isn't. That looks like a pretty good battle to kick off the run. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly better than like a Sozu. I don't know. I've had too many Sozus recently. I'm becoming like bitter and emboldened. I don't think that word has anything to do with how I'm feeling, but it felt like the one to say. Silent with no relics win. Well, we got to stop playing her, so that was good.
No Norbert. I'm still plus five wins from the Ironclad run. That's yeah, that's that's a good point. That's something to hold on to for sure. Play genetic algorithm for one block and it's sort of okay. Very weird, but sort of okay. Lag of villain can't give us the boot. We already skipped the boot. That's why everyone's upset. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the fairy in a bottle. Calling bell gives you a common, uncommon, and rare relic. Kind of don't have any cards in my deck. Just a little bit. What if the cards I didn't have were upgraded though? That would make them better. Okay. It says exhaust, it's two cards. Kind of, I don't know. Is double energy a card? Imagine losing this run. Why imagine something that you can just do? I guess for me personally, I'm more of a doer than a thinker. I don't know. have a lot of energy. Wish you had a lot of energy. 
Have you considered uh, and, uh, just having more energy than you do? Being energetic is tough. I don't know if I have any easy answers. Have you considered drawing and playing double energy? It does work for me. I will return to 1 HP where I belong. Alright. Echo from? I like Echo from. That's probably better than what I had. I think so. It does, Erebus. Do I have a really good remove? I kind of don't. Everything's kind of okay. Creative AI, maybe. Just thinking I don't really want to go to an early shop, which means, like, I'm not going to go that way with no self-repair, so I guess I'm not getting the super early, so I can look at the other paths. I'll go this way. Needs a bird face turn and a mummified hand. Alright, sounds easy. Honestly, I think I just play this one twice. It's a little plain relic where you heal from potions. That would also be very good. I can play Barrage for one attack or Thunder Strike for zero attacks. Okay. Bronze scales are just sort of like vibing, like killing everything. Watching the rest of the deck play a lot of cards that achieve absolutely nothing. 75 gold to remove a unupgraded static discharge, maybe? I don't really love unupgraded static discharge here. Feels like it's just sort of in the way. I wish the cool headed were upgraded. I wish the defragment were upgraded. I could take another apotheosis plus. I don't think that's what I want to do. Really, I just want um, a self-repair right now. One self-repair helps this deck out a lot. Also, if my potions would do something on turn one, that would be better. 
I guess Gambler's Brew. Maybe I should have done something with Gambler's Brew in this fight. Draw a card somehow. It would be really nice to draw a card somehow. Unfortunately, next turn I don't have any energy anymore. <laughs> Everything's at 33 months. Blocks for exactly 30, which is too much. It also blocks for exactly 30, which is too much. Am I playing with or around branch as defect? with or around. Are you trying to ask if branch is bad? Branch is good. It's an awful lot of bad cards in my draw pile. Six against thirty two. Consider thanks for the two years, appreciate it. Fifteen. It's actually good if I don't play equilibrium. It's not. 15 plus Slavers, they said. It's pretty good, cool headed. That's my next card remove. My cards are kind of good.
I don't suppose it's FTL ever. It's kind of my only damage. An upgraded hollow. Creative AI. Like I should hold on to creative AI. Steam Barrier. Let's get rid of Steam Barrier. Implications are that this tango is pretty good. Aren't all songs about tacos when you think about it? I prefer not to think about it. That branch would be better if it just exhausted your whole deck at the start of combat and nothing else. You just didn't have a deck. Sounds pretty metal. My favorite, most fun boss swap in these runs so far. The last defect run was like the only actual run that I've had. Everything else has been not really a run. I don't think I take a reboot. It's like probably okay. I just want to be able to draw Echo Form. Apotheosis, I guess. Turbo.
That's a very different sort of way to beat slavers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's rude. I was very excited about this, um... Electrodynamics, and then I wasn't anymore. Goodbye, the slavers. How do I feel about bottled flame? Not very positive. I could bottle an FTL. I could bottle a claw. Is there some reason I'd like to bottle FTL? I guess with Centennial Puzzle it's a bit better. Turn one of the heart fight. Doesn't really feel like it matters much. Maybe I want to remove it if I get Sneko Eye. Maybe I take Sneko Eye here. I don't think I want Sneko Eye. I don't know. I don't have a core surge. It's actually the only attack on my deck, huh? Okay, what about Biased Cog? Biased Cog, Orange Pellets. Maybe that's the reason. It's a really good bell for defect. Just a really good bell in general, yeah. The fuck do I do now? <laughs> I think I've run out of interest in double energy. I think the other stuff in my deck's just better. Sure. Oh, I think I meant to upgrade Echo Form there, actually. Doesn't matter, lol. What I like to do is wait until I generate Amplify from Dead Branch, which I do every single time that I need to, before I play my Echo Form.
I don't think I quite did that right. But I did it close enough to right. The loop got played three times. Echo form and amplify are in different stacks. Oh! When the singer talks about seeing their Mary Jane on the weekend, they mean marijuana. Took me a little bit. What would I do if our status bars touched? I don't know. I'm not sure. Now this stuff seems incredible to me. I did get a Sneko. I don't actually think I wanted. I'm a notorious 420 Blaze It endorser. 420 Blaze It. I always love catching up on what Jeff Sessions has had to say about the world. What a good man. Where's my other double energy? Thought I had another one. Oops. It's not. You think I'm reading too much into the lyrics? You think they're talking about a girl? Okay. You might be right, maybe I'm wrong. Could also be Spider-Man. That was one thing I was considering. Is Claw the best card in Defect's card pool? It was really good there. I think. Oh shit. <laughs> Deal six? But it's to everything. It's to everything at the same time. Is 
seemed a little OP for cards to hit every enemy. Especially when you have Gremlin Horn. Imagine how many cards I will draw after I kill all of them at the same time. Look at this. Indefensible. It's not bad, actually. It upgrades my Dead Branch cards. And it gives me something to actually remove, which I was... Oh my god, it also gave me max HP with Darkstone preapt. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a pickup. What a pickup. That is remarkable. I could maybe use another attack on my deck, now that I have orange pellets. I guess I can usually get 10 decks off these turn 1 with FTL that I bottled. I guess I talked about that when I bottled FTL. Look at how smart I am. This is never a store, so we go to it. You've never seen that outside act one. What the fuck is this streamer luck? Warped tongues? Warped tongues shows up everywhere. It's just a shrine event. Oh, do you always die in act one? That could be why. It could be because you always die in act one. We got there eventually. This deck is clean. You die in Act 2. Relatable. Extremely relatable. God, that's so many cool headeds. It's too many cool headeds. What am I gonna do with all those? All right, some amount of time later, we have finished our turn. Have we? Yes, the enemy is dead. Good turn. I might take the Sweeping Beam Plus for Repto. Repto is like a teensy bit scary. Not a tremendous amount scary, but like a little bit scary. I don't think I ever need those. Happy Flowers on zero? Well, now it's on one.
What's my favorite number for Happy Flower to be on? Oh, it's gotta be two. It's the easy answer, but I think it's the right one. Equilibrium is a card that stops you from discarding your hand at end of turn that I am playing sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. Imagine just not being able to get potions, and all you get for it is, like, one energy a turn. That's fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Okay. Never Sozu. Never Sozu again. This palette's work with reprograms. Sort of. Sort of. If you have negative focus total, it will get cleansed by pallets. But if you have played reprogram but currently have positive focus overall, it will not get cleansed. Bada bada bongs for the 32 months! That'll do. We swap into Bell, into Potion Belt, and White Beast. Yeah, and Dead Branch. <laughs> I feel like the Dead Branch is maybe worth mentioning there. We have all the potion relics. So boy. Order. Oh, this is about to explode. All right, we're all right. Oh, we don't have Sacred Bark, yeah. It's gonna be difficult to get Sacred Bark here, unfortunately. It's into the woods with the Revival cast, and I am eternally in her heart for playing Sondheim, yeah. Ow. It's fine. My health comes back when I drink my potions, right? Oh, 
Oh, the fight is over. Warped Tongues with Apotheosis and Dead Branch is like... Kind of sweet. Also okay with Creative AI. <laughs> no amplify. Sorry. Sorry, my B. I don't actually have one of those. Like it has to, you know. I'm sure you know this already. Where's our goddamn mummified hand? Good question. I listened to this song a lot, like 12 years ago. It's been a long, long time. It's like uh, remembering a different time in my life or something. Process of moving is awful. That sounds believable. I, think I should have gotten rid of speed potion actually. One thing I don't have is any orb slots, but it hasn't seemed like it matters recently. Before gold. Sure. Probably. Oh. 
Oh, I have to rest anyway. All right, cool. Spinning top isn't really a relic off bow. The thing you do when you get spinning top from the whale is ignore that you have a spinning top. Unfortunately. idea. How bad can it be to just do this? I don't know. Probably not that bad. Caldwin thinks the 15 months. My opinion on spiders. Hmm. Just like kind of dudes. Or ladies. I'm gonna have an apple by this time. I would generally prefer spiders to be somewhere other than on me. I don't know though. Sometimes when spiders are on me, it's not a big deal. Incredible, outstanding. Just the best thing ever. <laughs> Thunderstrike for two. You're dead. <laughs> well, that was wonderful. It's the small joys. For some reason I was really excited about electrodynamics. I've had a moment to reflect on it and 
occurs to me now that uh, there's only one enemy in the fight. So it's probably not quite as relevant as I thought. Book Tongues is a shrine event that can spawn in any act. Right? Can this one act too? Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are there any events that spawn in Act 1 and 3, but not in Act 2? Wonder? I don't think so. Do shrine events cause the next event to always be a combo? Could they just cause it to be very likely to be a combo? I have to rust anyone. Regardless, though, I don't really pay attention to that shit. It's more fun not to in my experience. There is no equilibrium in this. What am I even doing with my life? No idea. I think you see that event more often than Act 1, is that statistically back or just wrong? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you go to more question marks in Act 1? You spend more time in Act 1 because you die early? I think everyone spends more time in Act 1 than Act 3. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I thought about it a bit more. It actually takes a really long time to play Act 3 sometimes, and it almost never takes a long time to play Act 1, so maybe that isn't true. It's a shrine event, so it doesn't really care how many Act 1 events there are overall or anything. Your turn ends when you play your 12th card, which is quick. Alright, I'm just gonna look for scaling shit, I guess. It's a snarky puppy in the background. That is my child. reference it was, yeah. I think that's one of the greatest the greatest memes that the internet has ever been graced by.
DNA perf wins pot 2565. DNA perf, that is a weird looking dog you have a picture of. <laughs> that is my child. <laughs> I used to play with Kev Dog. That is my child. I'll go the boss relic swaps. Zzz. Trooper gaining is the 44 months. I think the Hustler Casino drama is like kind of boring. That is my opinion. But I do find some of the memes funny. I mean, I don't know if they're cheating or not. I'm not paying enough attention to have a relevant opinion, but um, some of the ways that it's being spoken about are not cool. Aren't I too strong already to waste my energy on Frozen Eye? Um, I never feel like I'm wasting my energy when I look at Frozen Eye. food. I guess I had like a light lunch at the start of the stream and haven't eaten other than that today. So it's kind of reasonable that it would want food. I just set my entire deck up on turn one. Unfortunately my deck isn't very good. <laughs> no, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. We'll see. We'll see. Cog is kind of juicy. Do I have two artifact charges or not? I used to have one, right? But I don't anymore. It's very hard to tell. Oh shit. <laughs> That is not enough block. It's okay. I have four stacks of buffer, apparently. <laughs> that was not my best moment. I need to hire a chef. I need more money. I'm going to be hiring a chef. A bit more bougie than I can be at the moment. <laughs> what happened with the meal plan thing I had? I didn't like it that much. Didn't like it that much and it was very expensive.
What if our buffs touched? Do we? Ordering food's kind of like hiring a chef for a very small amount of time. Probably true. I have a, a mummified hand now. Oh, I got Apotheosis turn one? That's probably good. Sort of doing random shit. I don't know. I figure I'll be good. Did I put creative guy in play? Looks like I did. Okay. I didn't cleanse biased cog yet. I guess I can drink this. Um. I guess I can do that. It's fine. Wasn't the best way to use hologram. I don't know. Nobody knows. It's impossible to know. Just one of those things. Like, uh, what else is impossible to know? The speed of light. The next number after 113. Stuff like that. How Tylenol works. That shit's fucked. Someone reads XKCD. Do I? What did I? I didn't know I was referencing XKCD. Oh, is the Tylenol thing from uh, XKCD? I was just reading Twitch chat and finding my jokes in Twitch chat instead of having to make them myself. That's where the Tylenol thing came from. Imagine making your jokes on your own. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Jeej. All right. Runs are certainly either interesting or not interesting. It was a bit of a slaughter. Let's see what the potion belt had in it. So so. 